everyone welcome back to my channel so i thought of creating a video on the latest windows update and how to clear the previous installed windows files so recently windows has pushed an update for windows version 24h2 so once you successfully install that update then you will need to remove the previous installed files so for that you will need to right click on the c drive click on properties here you can click on details page once you are in the settings menu it will analyze all the installed app temporary files system reserved files and many more files and give you which files are consuming space once the loading icon is gone from all the tabs then you can click on temporary files here it will display all those unwanted files but make sure you deselect the downloads folder because this will also delete all the files from your downloads folder so make sure you untick this particular tab next you can see it has displayed previous windows installation which is 20.2 gb now select those select all other windows cleanup temporary files thumbnails delivery optimization files and then click on remove files it will give you a warning that these files will, will be permanently deleted. So just click on continue. Doing this, it will clear most of the space which are consumed by unwanted files. Deleting these files might take some time, maybe between 5 to 10 minutes, depending upon the system configuration. Once the cleaning is complete, then you can restart your laptop. And once you restart your laptop, you can type command prompt in your search bar, run it as admin. And once you get the command prompt running, type SFC scan now. So this function scans all your system files as this was a new update which has been pushed it might happen there are few discrepancies or few bugs while the update was installed so in order to fix all those issues or you know if your laptop is behaving random or if your laptop is giving you weird issues then this command would ensure all the windows installed files would be scanned and if there are any issues it will replace the files from windows server so make sure whenever you run this command you are connected to internet so that if there are any files that need to be downloaded, it can download it and replace it. So as you can see, there were few corrupt files found and this command has successfully repaired them. So now your laptop is ready to use and it won't have any abnormal behavior after Windows update. So thank you for watching this video and if you guys are facing any issues after Windows update, do comment down and we will find a fix for it.